In this video, I'll list down my criteria for investing in my favorite biotech company, Illumina. And on that end, I hope that you will find it useful in your investment journey. More importantly, I'll list down the criteria that will cause me to exit my positions. But before that, let's position into that intro. I've been teaching biology since 2004. On this channel, I hope to simplify and explain the science behind the companies that's driving the genomics revolution one video at a time. The most important thing that Illumina produces is a machine that can do short read sequencing. And that is the most important competitive advantage of Illumina. Let me name you some applications of Illumina's technology. First, there's another biotech company, 10X Genomics, which utilizes Illumina's technology when they analyze the sequences of mRNA, which are typically short. This technology also allows for gene sequencing which is one unit of inheritance in a molecule of DNA. If you want to know the status of mutation of a gene like beta-globin, which is implicated in sickle cell anemia, you do gene sequencing. And for that reason, it doesn't make sense to do long-read sequencing. Reading the rest of the genome is unnecessary and wastes resources. And more importantly, money. In this period, interestingly, the importance of variant detection of viruses whose genomes are much smaller compared to the other organisms, lends itself very well to short read sequencing. Since the product is proven and Illumina has the dominant position in the market, this is a tick in my checkbox. Next, the company needs a strong technology lead and team. Someone who leads by the technology who have published papers in the scientific journals and also own the patents. That person in Illumina is Dr. Alex Aravanis, who was crucial in the past as well as holding the key to the present and future of Illumina. Illumina has a dominant market position as well as a strong technology lead, but that is not enough to convince me to invest in this company. I need some more. Illumina has continued to develop their know-how and technology in the field of sequencing. Not only that, they are able to do most, if not all the things, in-house. Outsourcing can add another layer of complexity and will likely slow down the manufacturing of current and new products. Just look at the EV production of Tesla compared to GM in 2021. So there's demand, a great technology team, as well as in-house development and manufacturing. But if the company don't price their products effectively, this may eventually lead to their downfall. Let me explain. I may be talking out of my depth here, but the one metric that I look out for as a small business owner is gross profit. This is revenue minus cost. Please note that I'm differentiating it from net Profit. This is because Illumina is considered a growth company in the biotech sector. I want to see them plow in the resources to ensure future growth. But at least with a positive gross profit, the company has shown a possible path to profitability. There are some startups out there with nothing in their business model towards that path, especially when they undercut their competition and producers loss per unit output. Let's take the example of WeWork that have been loading up on more and more real estate to show that they are growing. But per location, there was not enough business. Ayo, the more they grow, the more money they will lose without ever having any path to profitability. Guess what happened to the biggest investor of WeWork? Amazingly, Tesla can grow on the back of a sustainable energy movement without spending a single cent in marketing. Illumina has to show that they can grow the customer base. How do they do it? By conducting clinical trials and feasibility studies with big centers all over the world. Once the study comes to a conclusion about its utility, a scientific paper will be published together with a validated protocol which of course includes the utility of an Illumina machine as well as its consumables. This then leads to the insurance panels subsidizing the testing. Next, the laboratories will be knocking on Illumina's doors to make a purchase of the machine as well as the consumables, thus increasing the client base. At this stage, 
the one-time acquisition cost that is spent generates a very attractive lifetime value of a laboratory that buys Illumina machines. Contrast this to a person going to the electric shop to buy a TV. Their lifetime value would be very low since they will likely not return unless the TV spoils. And if they do, this would be some pissed off customers. All in, Illumina does not need to spend money on marketing. They can do clinical trials instead. What better way to expand the customer base by showing how beneficial Illumina's technology is for the customer's customer? All this shows how impossible it is for competitors to Illumina. But I'm not done yet showing you how I evaluate Illumina. You see, Illumina is now in a dominant position. There will come a point in time where their growth may stall. So they have got to show the investors that they've got something in their pipeline to ensure the growth story continues. For example, Apple first started with the desktop computers and laptops. Then they moved on into a brand new category, which is the portable music device. And then they went further into the phone market and so on. This is the part where I get so damn excited over Illumina because of their acquisition of Grail. Yes, there is tremendous headwinds because of the regulators. But remember that Illumina holds a large chunk of shares of Grail. And this is also the brainchild of Dr. Arevanis, as I've mentioned earlier. If Grail's cancer testing can vault into the dominant position just like Illumina's short read sequencing, imagine the astronomical rise that is possible with the shares right now, considering that Illumina's share price is currently in the bargain section. Grail has the highest number of patients that has been recruited to do the testing, which thus gives the power to the artificial intelligence algorithm to detect the cell-free DNA abnormalities. And I'm not done yet. While Grail is working through the froth, Illumina is announcing that they are releasing the Chemistry X, which is a replacement of the current generation of enzymes and reagents. This will increase the threshold of short read sequencing into the long read sequencing range, whilst at the same time, further reducing the cost as they promised to $100 per genome range. Wow! At this stage, though, I want to remind you that I have skin in the game. As such, producing a highly biased video. But does that mean that I have no negative comments about this company? No more. One thing that I feel that Illumina may not be able to achieve is to become a platform company like Amazon or Microsoft. And that is because of the narrow focus of the field. Whilst I don't expect Illumina to 20x, I still think there's a lot going for it. On that note, what situations will force me to dump Illumina? For example, if they lose their dominant position in the sequencing market. Or Alex leaving without anyone equivalent to replace him. Not showing positive gross profits anymore for Illumina products. Or grail testing not picking up the early stage cancers. Or they start outsourcing the development or manufacturing. And finally, Chemistry X not meeting up to the expectations as they promised. Phew, that was a long one. Let's turn our attention to beam therapeutics, shall we? 